Hi everybody, GXW here. This is a video about one of the millions of different things you can find when you're out looking at secondhand stores, uh, garbage and recycling centers, just all sorts of strange places and there's no telling what you can come up with. In this case, it's an example of a way to get a good quality extruded aluminum project box and a number of screws and connectors and switches. In this case, it even has a mount for use on a tripod, which I'll explain here in just a minute. But this device is a Metrologic Model 60-255. I had a little bit of trouble finding out what the heck this thing was, actually. And to my best understanding, based on the company and what's inside of it, it's some sort of a photo transistor target designed maybe for use with uh, military laser tag gear or with surveying as a, a target of some kind for detecting, you know, confirmation of a, of a straight line between two points. The inside is very simple. And again, the one of the coolest things about it is actually just the fact that this little aluminum box has a one quarter on 20 thread screw-in port for use on a uh, photography or videography tripod. Another part that I discovered that was interesting, you know, as I was taking it apart is it looks like it's 1980s technology inside and I don't know if I found a date code of any kind when taking this thing apart, but it did have that sort of, I don't know, 1980s, early 90s sort of feel to the components and perhaps it was made in small batches or this was some sort of a test device. You know, looking it up, I like I said, it, it was kind of mysterious. I, I thought, oh, that's kind of an odd device and it had a hole in one side and a switch and inputs and outputs, but didn't really say what it was. And initially I had a hard time finding out what the heck uh, Metrologic did at all. But again, this is some sort of photo transistor um, target. The reason it threw me initially looking it up in the secondhand store was that the photo transistor portion of the device was pushed in and down so that when you'd pick it up, I mean, it didn't have any ready indication that this thing had an optical component at all. Uh, more, it looked like some sort of tripod mount power supply for a, uh, you know, like a flash lamp or something like that. And so initially I grabbed it thinking, geez, for 50 cents on the, you know, the junk shelf at the local uh, secondhand used goods store, it, you know, I, why not? The box alone, trying to find a box this size uh, on the internet that is high quality and thick and heavy, it's hard to really show from this picture, but this combination aluminum and steel extrusion box is very well made and has slots inside for supporting circuit boards whose dimensions match its interior. I did a quick add up which I'll post at the end of the video and basically there's $25, $30 worth of materials if a person goes out and tries to buy the components, most of it in that case. Uh, the cheapest I could find a box that had the features that this does with the screw in uh, quarter on 20 tripod base was about 20 bucks for the box <coughs> and the switch and uh, banana jack terminals and other miscellaneous components were easily worth the difference uh, as you'll see here as I try and take it apart it struggles a little bit with me and then I'm able to, to pull the components apart fairly easily its biggest problem that I had with taking it apart was just that there was a lot of small screws. You can see in here clearly the nice slide-in component trays designed to hold uh, the circuit board along there. I'm not sure what the curvature at the top of the extrusion is for. Perhaps some sort of a heat sink uh, assembly or a different model, but the extrusion looks to be not only thick and good quality, but it has some unusual uh, shape to the top of it or an unusual shape. So looking inside, uh, sorry for the focus here, this was one of my first tries with the new uh, Sony camera I have. That's the photo transistor itself and it's nothing special, it's just a you know kind of generic photo transistor. It turns on as light exposure occurs 
it, the thing is, is it is a three prong device. And I looked it up, then they, they've just soldered two of them together to basically make it into a photo diode. It's connected to it looks like what looks like to be an amplifier circuit board. I didn't go into any investigative detail because frankly, none of the component values or types were anything special to write home about with the exception of the fact that that switch and the associated uh, connectors and you know bolts and miscellaneous hardware, that was what I was after in this case. I didn't uh, anticipate any magic secret sauce components and well, I wasn't disappointed. Nonetheless, it's a pretty dang nice box and it's quite useful to have the components it did have. Here's another shot of the side of it after I've taken the circuit board out, just leaving the wiring and whatnot in place. This is the circuit board itself, uh, really low tech, low quality, like make it on a bench at your house circuit board, single sided. Uh, but then again, for what it does, it's not like it requires anything complex. It's just a couple transistors, some caps and resistors uh, to best as I can make out trigger uh, an output state when the photo level rises, when the light level rises to a point where uh, the person has set it. This has been a quick video by GXW. Thanks for joining me as I took apart this small device. Hopefully it'll inspire you to stop by the secondhand stores, yard sales, and unusual places looking for projects and project boxes of your own.